and uh, we're we're in a world today that right now uh, we see the end of time uh, coming. The age time of the end is up on us right now, and so glad a president, Amen, got elected yesterday, got in office yesterday. Amen. Praise the Lord, knowing that there's a reason in the Bible for him to be where he's at. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he did talk about our God, which that was something that we never heard before out of some of them. Amen. And we're so glad about it. But, you know, Revelations and, I mean, well, there's plenty of places. Revelations of 13, Revelations of 17, Revelations of all kinds of places that you can get these things where they are so hard to understand because the way they were written in the Word of God to let us know. But now it's opening book. It's open book. Revelation is going to be open. Lots going to be coming from it. And we've had lots and lots of these uh, anti-spirits of the uh, anti-crisis and, and that they we're waiting on the real anti-Christ. Amen. Praise God. Many little ones coming up. And, but in Revelation, in 13th chapter, I used to think, where did my dad know, know that stuff at? And where can he get that at? And all that stuff that talks about him away. But see, God is a revealer. God, as you read the Word of God, <clears throat> get to it and stay, study, study, pray, and ask God for an uh, answer. And ask God to show you, open the scriptures up. And that's our God. He's, he's a perfect Nobody can understand it. Nobody. These people, it takes you for years, some people, to understand about how he is and how he does what he works. Amen. <clears throat> so, in Revelations, we're talking about the, the 13th chapter and the 16th and 18th verse, of course. And Revelation gives you the prophecy that in the time of the system will be set up requiring persons to have, to have requiring. It's going to tell you right here that you have to have want to have a mark to be able to do anything in this world. And friends, it's almost here. It's almost here. It's, it's the mark is coming. All kinds of chips are going out. All kinds of things is going on, is happening in our world today that we didn't realize. And it tells you about the system will be set up. It's going to be uh, with a person to have a mark or a number without which they be unable to buy you, be unable to sell. This prophecy comes only come to since the... Uh, uh, computer and the internet started. Remember that? I remember when it first started and I went to Kroger's. Now this is the truth. I went to Kroger's and I seen this little scanner. That's when they were scanning our stuff on the, on the back of the cans and things. And I said, oh no, Lord. I said, oh no, really? And this little boy, uh, some young man, he, I don't know if he was, but he was, he was up scanning out my groceries. And I said, oh, oh honey, you know what this is? He said, no, ma'am. And I said, this is the type of the mark of the beast in the Bible. Oh, he got scared. He said, really? I said, yes, sir. It, it really is, honey. Amen. So now, just look. I, and that's been, I don't know how many years that's been ago that I did that when they started that scan stuff. Mm -hmm. But see, it tells you that you can't buy or sell computers. And we know that our world is completely electronic. Everything. Everything. Everything you see. And, uh, I told the people the other day, and I can tell my friends out there on Radio Land, I am an old-fashioned. I just believe in a good world of living happy and joyful and just having the old-time way that I was raised and things. Appreciate it and look back and love it. Even though it's hard, hard time, I love it because it's nothing like it is today. You didn't know other people's business. You didn't know other people, what's going on. Everything, people today know what people are eating, what kind of eating, uh, how to cook, everything you want to know, it's on there. They got their morning and, and noon and evening life wrote out for them on the computer thing. And, and I said, I am not living in this, that, this world that, and kind of it because I don't want no part of it. It's the part of what I have to do. That's what I'm going to do. Otherwise, I'm living in my world that God gave me to live in. And uh, they, somebody said, let's go way back. I believe Germany, Germany sings a song or something. Way back. I want to go way back to, to Calvary. Amen, if you want to say it. <clears throat> Praise the Lord, because that's, that's a lie. So our world is moving rapidly towards, towards this stuff, and the electronic stuff is moving. And we, we had a, a little a little thing here from Brother Irvin Baxter, and he was talking about in Sweden. In Sweden, he said, 
1,600 banks. Now just think about this now. And you know how things move fast. <clears throat> 900 of them will not receive cash deposit, nor can you get any cash from them. Furthermore, many of the Sweden uh, businesses now are refusing to deal in cash at all. This trend is sweeping to other countries as well. See, it's coming. It's coming faster than we think. In the last two years, I've seen a fast move. I've seen a fast move in Revelation. It's coming, friends. Revelation, Revelation might be all mixed up with like the devil and Satan and all this stuff and the, talking about the woman and the eagle and we all know who that is now. We all know that stuff now. It's coming out real, <clears throat> real easy. But friends, if you don't know the Lord, you better get a hold of him. You better get a hold of him. Because it's going to take a prayer life to get to heaven. Amen. And I mean a prayer life, praise God. Something that will keep you out of the world system as much as you can. And to live for the Lord and lift up the Lord and praise his holy name. Amen. So I say, <clears throat> well, I've been sick the last few years. Some of you are trying to get rid of this stuff or whatever. I think the whole world, everybody got in church last night. It was really a mess. Everybody really cold and sick. Even the priest. The preacher last night, he has been real sick and had a hard time sometimes getting out his message. But God knows everything. So we're moving towards cash. We had a more cash society. It's, it's, it's growing real fast and it's coming in. And because it's, it's biblical for this all to be, and God's going to let it be. And, and uh, it's no doubt in our minds that this world is preparing for the prophesied mark of the beast and will contend to do so. And 2017, which 20, we're at now in 70. It, it's just going fast. And last year's fast, is to me. And that's because it's got to be. <clears throat> but the Bible says in the 13th chapter, it says, I stood upon the sand of the sea. And uh, I want to make sure you hear, I'm trying to kind of creepy like. I stood upon the sand of the sea, this 13th chapter of Revelation about the beast. And he said, And I saw this beast, and he rose up out, rise up out of the sea, having seven heads, and he had ten horns. And upon his horns was ten crowns, and upon his head was the name of blaspheming. Lord, I tell you the truth, blaspheming is a very bad thing to get into to the Lord. Amen. Praise God to ever do this thing. Praise the Lord. And so we know, we know what the, the animals and things are now. We have learned about the, the Rome and about the animals, the leopards and the bears and the lions and all this stuff. We know what is coming out, what they, what they mean and what they are. Because they're in Daniel. You can read a lot of this in Daniel as well. Praise God. And his feet of the bear and his mouth and the mouth of a lion and the dragon gave him power. And he said, and, and, uh, and had great authority. Great authority. And it's, it's coming. And I saw one of the heads as it was wounded to death. See, my daddy preached this when I was a younger woman. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after him. All the world had wondered after the beast. Well, the world is wonderful. It's, it's, it's going so fast, so much going on that you don't even know about. And they worshiped this dragon which gave him power unto the beast. And he worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able? Who is able to make war with him? Amen. This is such a really marvelous uh, book here, a little chapter here. Of course, we've got a lot to go on. <clears throat> and his mouth speak great things, and bloody power was given unto him to contend forty two months at three and a half years. Three and a half years. Really things are going to be bad. Huh? And open his mouth and he blasphemed against God. Well, when you blaspheme against God, do you know what that means? To blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, the worship, and then that dwells in heaven. Amen. Praise the Lord. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, to make war with them, and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindred, tongues, and nations. Didn't leave nothing out. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of the Lamb. I'm telling you, you say, how do you get your name written up? Well, friends, I'm sorry that you think that you can just pray a little prayer or, or go to church and do your thing and live the way you want to and your name is written there. No. The only way that you can get to get written is really get saved and get Amen. repented from God and, and get that baptism of the Holy Ghost and power that God told us that we needed to live and to guide us and to teach us and lead us in this old world that we're living in right now. Amen. It's got to be written by the blood, by the blood, not by a pencil. Amen. By the blood of a lamb. Who is that lamb? Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Makes me feel like I want to get out. Praise the Lord. If any man has an ear, oh, what kind of ear? Why don't you hear? I've been telling people for years, open your ears and listen.
listen to what the word of God says. Listen to what the men say. A lot of people like the Lord of singing. It's all right. You don't look at sing good song. But there's a time to stop. There's a time to open your ears to hear the word and want to hear it and want to know what the ministers are talking about. Amen. And read it. Read it. Read behind him. Go go read and study. And praise, praise God. So this the beast this, this beast system is really, really something else, people. Amen. Praise the Lord and and uh, so there is no doubt, amen, praise God, that this world is uh, preparing for something, something real, really bad. And when I heard my daddy uh, preach on this one time, uh, many, many times, amen, he would hear people when he preached the revelation, amen. <coughs> but you know, in 17th chapter even tells you about, about our government, <clears throat> is the beast of the revelation. 13th chapter was that this woman is riding upon his back. He is, uh, who is this woman? You know, it's been said many, many, many times. Who is this woman? So we're given a six clues, or six clues, amen, identified the woman from Revelation in the uh, 17th chapter, if you want to read that, 17th chapter. This woman, there, there was a city that sat on seven hills, I read it and read it and read it, and couldn't hardly pray. understand it, amen. The city proceeds over a dress in the nationality system. The woman is dressed in purple. And red. The woman was drunk and she blood was faint. The woman was a daughter, the daughter. Amen. The only one city on earth that was fulfilled all these things. Only one city. Amen. And we know this, I know this from a young girl back there about some of this stuff. The lady speaks on this. The only city on earth is this. It is Rome. Rome is a city. Rome is known as a city of seven years. Of the earth and the false prophets in Revelation. Now, Revelation <laughs> in the last head of the beast, Revelation the 13th, is as the head for purposes of persecuting, praise God, and exercising authority, power of the end power beast, Revelation 19 and 20. Amen. So, see, you have to get all of this stuff in order, amen, to get it all out for. For the, for the truth of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I wanted to read a little bit on here. But get over here. Amen. 17th chapter here. I believe. I believe that one's supposed to get. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Praise the Lord. And it said, Then there came one of the seven angels, which had seven vows. And he talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. In other words, come hither. I will show thee unto the judgment the great whore that sits upon many waters. I used to think them things was bad, you know, but the, the Bible teaches us, talks about, oh, way back in the old Bible, talks about whorish, and we got horse women today, anything that's a prostitute, they're running up and down our streets, and, and, and their bodies half naked, and, and they're little, and leaving their children, and don't know where they're at, and don't care where they go with, don't care who they, who gives them a dollar, two dollars, or whatever to sell their body, that's a dirty, filthy abomination unto God, and it's a shame, it's a shame. Our children has to see such things they have to see. Friends, friends we're living. Can't you see pure in this time? Can't Amen. You see, can't you see a torment? <coughs> Are you happy in this world? Are you happy when you go shopping when you see somebody looking like that? Amen. And some little child in a buggy that ain't halfway dressed and looks a little softy and nasty. And because the mother is, a, is halfway out of her mind. Amen. Can you see this? Can you see this driving down through there in the buggy? And you have to hold on to your child for somebody to snatch it down the buggy? In that shame, you have to hold tight to your children, hold their hands to their children, amen. Grip to your baby and hold to your baby, amen. This is dangerous world, dangerous. It's dangerous right now, so bad, 
amen, that people is staying home. People is using this uh, uh, online now on the TV thing. We even order stuff online because my uh, friends in Florida, my husband's people is in Florida, and that woman said we buy everything online. Comes to our house, amen. We don't go out. Said you can't even carry a purse or nothing. She said, and it's so bad out in Florida. She said, I wished in a way I had never left West Virginia. I said, well, West Virginia is getting nasty and bad, too. The whole place is all getting bad. I mean, we're just living the sad. It's so sad. But, honey, it's got to fulfill the revelation. It's got to fulfill. This book has to be full. And it's now open. It's open wide. Let me tell you right now, if you ever heard the word say, it's open, please, you know, it's so close. It's so close. And then, you know, that tells you, it said, come here. I want to show thee the judgment of that great whore. And with, with the with whom the king of the earth had committed fornication, see? And the inhabitants of the earth has been made drunk with the wine of the fornication. Amen, with the filth and stuff. And so he carried me away in the spirit and wilderness. I saw this woman with a scarlet, uh, uh, scarlet called the beast, full of names, blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. See, that's what it said. This said, this is all Roman. This is the uh, city of Rome. Roman's coming back. And it's going to come back. Amen. Praise God. Even your Bible teaches you about Romans coming back here. I did have a thing on that. Praise the Lord, but the Lord knows all things. And praise God. And it said, up on her forehead was the name written. <laughs> Amen. It was written, Babylon. Amen. Look here. Mistress Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth. And I saw this woman drunk, drinking, drunk in the Bible with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs and of martyrs and Jesus whom I saw her, and I wondered with great uh, administration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore does thy marvel? I'm going to tell you the mystery of this woman and the beast and the carries her, which has the seven heads and ten horns. The mystery is open. The mystery is open up. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And the beast which I saw was, and is not. <laughs> These different things have got to come past different things. Shall I send out a bottomless pit? A bottomless pit? That's no end, but it will be into a ball, ball of muscle. And great, <clears throat> and they said, well, on earth and so wonder whose names was not written in the book of the land of life from the foundation of the world. And they behold the beast, and it was not, and is not, and is yet to come. Amen. Praise up. Yet to come. It's coming, friends. And there, here is a mind. Here is mine. Did he got some wisdom? The seven heads of seven mountains. That's the realm. And which are the woman sitting upon the setting, and there are seven kings, the five are falling, one is, and the other is not yet come. When he cometh, he must contend a short space, a short space time. Yes, he will. And the beast that was, and is not, even is the eighth, and is on the seventh, he goes into perdition. And the ten horns that thou saw the ten kings, telling you about the ten kings, you know, how the ten kings are going to operate, amen, which <clears throat> sees that no kingdom is yet. But receive power of two, one hour with the beast. See, these uh, times, these hours and things like that, this is slow time. Amen. And the city is going to give him power and strength and beast. They shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome. Yes, he will. Then, for he is the Lord of lords and the King of kings, and they that are with him are called the chosen faithful. Now, we preach him strongly to be everything. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is God. Jesus is the King. Jesus is the Father. Jesus is the Son. It was the Son that born from Virgin Mary become a man in human flesh to dwell among the people so he could get the people saved. And how many did Jesus get saved? How many did went to Pentecost to get the power of the Holy Ghost and power? About 120. Isn't that sad? That is sad. So we see our time is just running out here. Amen. But we just want to give you some ideas of things on, on Revelation. It's on my mind. I, I've been reading quite a bit through it. Amen. Praise the Lord. But there's still a lot of things I don't know. Still a lot of things maybe you'll never know. And we all now will never know. But God knows you all. For one thing for sure, I can recommend Him. And just open up your heart and pray. And ask God, lay your hands on the Word of God, which I have. Lord, reveal this to me that can help your people. We, as ministers of God, must help people. We must be friendly, lovable, kind. No matter what you do and what you've done, if you're not a blessed friend of the Holy Ghost, you can be saved. You can be saved of your sins. And I know God, God wants to do that. Jesus loves to do that because He died with love.
love, he's got the whole world at his heart of dying. 